Welcome to a, another video from Ellensburg Amplifier Repair and Service. My name's Todd. And here today we have a, a Precision Power PC2350 that uh, came in for repair. And there's just a couple things that uh, I wanted to go over uh, on these uh, Precision Power boards here. This board here is in just absolute perfect condition when it comes to the the condition of the components and the board itself it does not look like this board has been abused i don't see any signs of any parts being uh overly hot besides probably what you see there on your screen besides the uh, drive cart so i don't know if you all are familiar with uh, these particular drive cards here let me grab one here and show you these do have problems when it comes to uh, temperature, heat. I think just under normal operating conditions, they just run hot. I, I do believe, I think. Um, and so the original problem with this particular board is uh, one of these transistors was actually leaning over let me get a better view, picture here for you guys here. One of these transistors was leaning over. It actually desoldered itself from the board, but yet not to a point where it fell off. It just leaned over and it touched the pin. It was leaning up against the pin right here of uh, JP4, the jumper four. Uh, what does that pin go to? I really don't know. I have not reverse engineered this at all. Um, I just, I, I've been super busy, so I don't have the time to really go through and see what that transistor shorted to. Um, so I, uh, verified with the owner of the board. I said, Hey, you know, there are some cards that are available. This card is damaged to a point where it blew open two of the resistor locations and, it, uh, two of the pads are actually missing on this card. And I just, uh, I felt it was in the best of the interest of the owner to pursue, if you wanted to keep this board, to pursue a different uh, avenue besides using the factory OEM cards here. These are those ceramic cards. So uh, what we have are aftermarket cards. And uh, these cards uh, obviously are, in my opinion, are far superior uh, than the OEM cards. So I'm gonna be installing two aftermarket cards that you can get uh, for these precision power amplifiers. Uh, let me know down below there if you are in need of cards. I do have a connection for these cards here. So let me know down below if you are in need of these cards. So these cards, uh, they are bigger physically in size, as you can see. Uh, so uh, you'll be advised when you get these cards to put them in at an, at an angle. And that's exactly what I'm gonna do for these cards is put them at an angle so it still fits in the heat sink. So, um, and this board is still fully functional. It does build rail voltage. Uh, it works just like it should. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and install the cards and put an input signal in and see uh, how well these work out. This is the first time I have used these cards. And uh, I do believe they are going to work quite well. So I just wanted to give you guys a quick uh, rundown of the output section of this Precision Power PC2350. And if, uh, if you guys have any questions on this board... Uh, please let me know uh, again down below there uh, just as a heads up on these boards they do use the HIP the 4081s to drive the power supply and there's two of them I have been on the hunt for HIP 4080s for a little over a year now and I have been working diligently to find connections for the 4080s and uh, believe it or not 
a lot of the 4080s that are marked that I get in from these overseas distributors, sellers, um, I'll buy five or 10 of them just to test them out and see what they come up at as a lot of the 40s will come up as shorted uh, ICs. Or believe it or not, a lot of the 4080s that are marked are actually 4081s. Uh, so those 4080s, and I do have a video there where I show you guys, I have a test board that tests the HIP 4080s. And you can wire this test board um, in a 4081 configuration to verify your 4080s or your 4081s. So that's what I wanted to go over with you today on this particular amplifier. So I, uh, again, do thank you guys for watching. Sorry, I've uh, been quite busy. I will try harder to try to get videos out for you guys. Uh, let me know down below if you like the live streams or if you like just recorded vi uh, repair content. And I'll help try to cater my videos to that. I see I'm getting close to a thousand subscribers. So I thank you all uh, for watching my channel. I thank you all for uh, visiting uh, my Facebook page, uh, dropping in, saying hi, asking your questions. I am more than happy to do my best to help answer questions for you guys. And I do carry many amplifiers here. So typically when you have questions, I can resort back to an amplifier that I have to help you diagnose a problem on one you're working on. So uh, again, leave me your comments down below. I do thank you for watching. Please pay attention to your rail voltages. Keep your fingers out of it. Stay safe out there and we'll catch you on the next one. Thank you.